Hey guys, it's Jennifer and welcome back to Busy Being Jen. I'm here today for an empties video and as you can see, I have a lot of empties for the month of March and so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, in no particular order, the first thing I have here is a bottle of Jurgen's Natural Glow gradually creates flawless natural looking color and this is a daily moisturizer. It's kind of a self tanner but it is not, uh, it's kind of a gradual tan. So you don't have to worry as much about getting streaks or anything like that because the first time you put it on, it will just give you a light tan and then if you use it the next day and the next day after that, it will create a darker and darker tan for you. I get the medium to tan color and even though my skin is pretty light, I don't go with the light one because I feel like it just takes too long for it to get darker. So anyway, um, I love this stuff and I will continue to use it. The next thing I have is from Fortune Cookie Soap, a company that I love and this is their hand sanitizer. They call it their OCD hand sanitizer and this one is called Vivid and I absolutely love this hand sanitizer. First of all, Vivid is kind of a Oh gosh, like a raspberry fragrance and it's so good. Whenever I use it, people will say, oh my gosh, what is that smell? And so it's just lovely. It's kind of a raspberry lemonade, I guess I would say. Their hand sanitizer is also very moisturizing. So it doesn't just dry out your hands. And I've been using this particular kind of hand sanitizer for a long time and this fragrance, Vivid, that is raspberry lemonade is just to die for. Okay, the next thing I have is a hair conditioner. This is Pantene Smooth and Sleek. Really like the Pantene products and I'll continue using it. In fact, I have another one that I'm using right now that's a volumizing conditioner. I have, I had a bunch of WEN products, W-E-N, and this one's in lavender. It's a cleansing conditioner. You don't have to use a separate conditioner. It's, it's just a shampoo and conditioner all in one. It's really nice for making your hair smooth and uh, not frizzy. Okay, the next thing I have is a, also a Jurgens product. It's called Wet Skin Moisturizer. It says locks in hydration at skin's peak moisture moment for luminous skin. So what you do is you take your shower and then after the shower you kind of just pat yourself dry. You still want to be a little bit wet and then you put this on and it locks that moisture into your skin. Really, really nice. I have a container here of Q-tips that I finished. Nothing terribly exciting. Finished my hairspray. This is my go-to hairspray. It's Garnier Fructis. Full control hairspray, 24 hour anti-humidity, and I get number four, which is the second strongest one. But what's great about this stuff is that it doesn't like, you don't spray it on your hair and then have just this crunchy feel. It, it actually makes your hair feel very soft. It just sort of holds your, your style, and I really like that. I've been using it for years. Let's see, I have two body products here. One is by Tree Hut. It's their Shea Body Butter in Lychee and Plum. Really nice. Uh, I mean, I used it down to pretty much nothing. Very, very nice scent. You can get this uh, Tree Hut products you can get at Walmart, and um, I, I usually get mine from Ulta. And then another one that's from Tree Hut is their Firming Sugar Scrub. And this one is a coffee scent. What does it say? Uh, Italian Mocha. So this one is really nice too. Definitely smells like a cup of coffee. <laughs> and it's just really scrubby, not to the point of scratching your skin, but it is very scrubby. So it definitely exfoliates and leaves a really nice moisturizer on your skin. And then this one is a body butter by The Body Shop. And it's, I don't, I don't know what the scent is. It's not saying on here, but it's kind of an orange. It's got a picture of, a, of an orange on the front, but I know it's called something different. It's very moisturizing. I use it mostly on my hands. And I like these little containers because they're not too big to throw in your purse. 
And if your hands are dry, especially, you know, in the winter and where I live, it's super dry. And so this does a really nice job. And I have three more things here. This one is an eye cream by Pharmacy, spelled F-A-R-M-A-C-Y. And really nice. Um, the, the, the shape of the container is a little awkward because you kind of have to reach under the the rim of it to get everything out but it was a nice a cream i don't know that i'm necessarily gonna get another one of these it was as nice as others i've tried and then i also went through my instant age rewind by maybelline this is um what does it say eraser dark circles instant age Re rewind eraser for dark circles and it's a concealer and so i put an eye an, an eyelid primer i put it above and also underneath my eyes and then i put the concealer on top of it kind of you know pat it around and then use a, a beauty sponge a makeup sponge to kind of blend it in a little bit and this one is nice it's my go-to i've been using it forever this one i think is in the shade light but I've also used Fair if I want something that's a little bit lighter under my eyes. And then the last thing is um, eyebrow pencil that I love. It's my favorite kind. It's by e.l.f. This one, they have three different shades. This one is their medium brow pencil. I've also used the lighter one, and that one is perfect for, you know, going with my darker blonde hair. But anyway, this is great. It doesn't last as long as, for example, the IT Cosmetics. Uh, what is it called? It's their eyebrow pencil and universal taupe. It doesn't last as long as that, but it's significantly less expensive. I think the It Cosmetics brow pencil is like $24, and this one is like $3. You go through this faster, but it still ends up being a better deal over time. So those are the products that I have for March. Hopefully this was helpful to you and you got some ideas for some new products to try. If there was anything in particular you tried in the month of March that you loved, please share in the comments below. I'm sure we'd all like to hear that. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not a current subscriber, hit that button right there and YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is an awful lot. And I'd love to have you come along with me on Busy Being Jen. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.